It's Nasty Nork! Hey there, everyone, this is Zhao Cow playing, uh, Spyro, and I mean, Nasty Nork is the name of the last boss, right? But there's still one dragon head left, so there's a pose game of some kind. Is this gonna be the finale? Is it, is it not? I don't know. Confronting Nasty Nork. I got, like, every gem we're gonna get. Weird number, 11,500, but sure. <laughs> It's a number that's more confirming to no dragons. 500 gems, though. He's right there. He's just like literally right there. There's a key on this box. Uh, there's a Nyan. Ooh, there's gems just everywhere, though. All right, give me a second here, buddy. All right, so that's that. Okay, I'm just gonna set this up. I don't know. He's doing things. He's throwing magic from his club. Club Magicone. Yeah, I heard a thief. There's one somewhere. Camera, though, is really concerned with keeping Mr. Gnork on camera, which I understand. All right, there's gonna be like a side passage here, but I wanna keep doing things on the periphery, if you don't mind. Yeah, so like that ends. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that is over there. Oh, he's holding a key. Look at that! He's part of the gameplay! Oh, shoot. Uh, on this little, like, crazy little, like, ah. Okay, there we go. Look at that! Right at the edge, right before we got to the end of the ramp. And I think I'm gonna, like, unlock, like, right underneath, uh, Nasty, and then something's gonna happen. Like, maybe it'll be catapulted off? I don't know. Right now, I'm having fun scooting booting right here in the basement it's pretty cool you can hang out get some gems ride a motorcycle oh 124 i don't like that number but whatever oh then you run here so i got a key that's right i'm gonna use my key game gameplay or am i okay maybe i'm not uh there's a locked door here though so maybe that's what we're using that key for okay I made an interpretive mistake. Hey, oh, you gotta get the other key. You gotta get a right key for the right occasion. Of course. Get out of here, chests. Ain't got no time for you. You're just flying off somewhere somehow. Oh man, I let go of my groove. Look at that, and we even jump off. Uh, there we go. Going on a loop. Running after that guy. I'm really trying more to gather gems than actually just getting that guy. Alright, then we get to do another loop, you know, as we look around, see, so like, wow, that's the mysterious tower of uh, Gammonon. Incredible. Here's a gem, some lift on the floor. Wow. Alright, now I got the right chest key. There we go. Open up! It's the drag- oh, we just made a stare. He backed off! What a coward. Oh, wow, well, right, he's running. Well, I'm going over here, huh? How about that? Yeah, that's right. I don't know what's going on here, but it, it's there. Alright, well, we got this sweet little, like, road we can walk across. No, that's pretty fun. Just, just pop some chest, get some jewels. It's like we're playing a level of some Spyro and friends. Uh, mostly Spyro. No friends yet, really. Do the dragon you rescue count as friends? They're more collectibles. Spark is a friend? No, he's my servant. He just do whatever I want because I am significantly higher in the hierarchy and as a dragon, I'm gonna make sure he knows about it all day long. That said, there's a very real possibility that further games actually explore the relationship between Spyro and Spark, but up until then, I just have to assume that my interpretation is correct. Anything on these rails? No. Like, clearly you're meant to run this at high speed, but clearly I really don't need to. <laughs> Unless I'm gonna get, like, a nasty surprise at some point. But, uh, until then... Whoa! See, like, he's just there. He's just running away. It's not like he was attacking me. It's not like at any point I felt punished by taking my time okay no there we go we're on a circuit okay got it all right oh this is kind of a dangerous road though like not gonna lie i can just barely keep up it feels like Ugh. Oh, yeah yeah see i'm using like dash and jump which is faster than just dashing 
I just don't think it's gonna be enough. Oh, I pressed the fire, but it didn't fire! Why didn't you fire, Spyro? Firing had to happen! But you didn't! Uh, why not? Alright, well maybe I was still like... Mid-animation for one of the many actions I'm doing right now. I would believe it, and like that had priority, you know, that kind of thing happens. But yeah, like, I don't think you are meant- like, like, you're meant to pursue, but more for the drama of it than for anything useful about it. Alright, well, he doesn't like a little bit of flame on his armor. Yeah, purple gem. Which brings us to three... oh. Okay, 500. If it was 400, I'd be worried. I, it's still a weird number. Is that gonna retract? certainly feels like it wants to. No? Okay. Alright. Doing more platforming in the furnace this time. So there's a, there's a, like, blind corner there. He could have held me at ambush. Oh, sweet juniper trees. Oh, sweet juniper tree turbo. Really? Making me restart entirely? Oh, okay. There's a gem I had missed, so you know what? Maybe it was good that I... That I died. Because, <laughs> yeah, just a gem there that... Somehow, I... Wow. Well, anyone in the audience... Panicking. No, you, you were right. <laughs> You'd think you'd give me, like, a mid point or something here, but no. That's ridiculous. Alright, so what happened last time? Well, it's typical long gliding segment death of I... Apparently either jump not from the edge enough, or I started gliding too late, you know? Any variant of that. Oh, these things are attracting. Oh, well... Cool. So, like, is it a speed thing? Like, are they all just gradually moving and I just can't perceive it? Like, this one's clearly higher up a little bit. Oh, but I don't know. Yeah, no, no, yeah, they are moving. Wow, okay. There we go. Burn that guy. Whoa, yeah, all these purple gems in your pockets. Laughing. I, I didn't get, I didn't see the total of gems I got, though. Is this is how the game ends? Sorry, I took so long. Oh. I kind of forgot about you. <laughs> what about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? What an abrupt end. It's toast. So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you that do next? Sheep. I'd say the sky's the limit. Yes, I gotta go in the sky level. <laughs> That's left in Northland. What a weird just- that's so abrupt though, like I do genuinely kind of want to check like my totals because I'm not sure. This game is a not duck for sure. Um... It's very pure in its platforming, like you just don't see this anymore where the whole point of the game is to platform. You find areas that you want to go to, and then you go there. Like, it's a purity of game design that we just, like, often now in games, like, you go to a place, but then you gotta do a thing. But here, getting to that place is the whole point. And I love that. I thought that was a very good experience. To lift the take off of someone, one of my top humans on the planet. Uh, honestly, like, this is like a puzzle platformer, you know, in the most literal sense. The puzzle is to platform, is to get on the platform. I loved it! This is really fun. This last confrontation, very odd, but honestly, it's a clear evolution of the rest of the boss philosophies of this game, for good or for ill. Um, I did think that learning about supercharge and super jump jumps was weird, but once I got the hang of it, like, I thought it was fine. 
Will I play 2 and 3? Definitely. I mean, obviously not now, but I hope to do this sort of like how I did Crash, where, you know, like, a couple of games and then, and then we can jump in again. I have a bit less say in what I can play these days than when I play Crash, though, but I'll try to make something work out. Uh, but no, yeah, I loved it! I, I came in with some expectations, because, you know, like, this game is really well known. Like, it is beloved, it is a beloved franchise. Uh, and my expectations have been met. This is kind of neat, just kind of going through the environments, because yeah, the environments are the superstar of this game. Totally and entirely. I know that the sequels, they uh, sand off a lot of the rough edges, because this does have a lot of first game syndrome. Technically, it's Simsoniac's second game, but you know what I mean though, like, it's the first game in the series. Hey, no sheep. Wait, we're harm? Returning home. I think sheeps were definitely harmed. I, I, I ate their soul in butterfly form. Alright. Yeah, I got all 500 and I get to rescue an extra Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? Yeah, Finally, what's in there? this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Wow. Explicit 100% gate. Well, do I have a- yeah, I have 100%, buddy. I guess I can save, but I'm mostly concerned with- I got 100%, buddy! Oh, it's opened up! So is this a level? Or is this- If it's a flying level, I can probably do it. Nasty's loot. Well, let's just go in. I'm just gonna enter. No treasure found. Everything is green. Eh, uh, yeah, 12,000 makes a lot more sense. Like, I pictured a floating level. Oh, it's not, though. I don't know what to expect. You know what? We're gonna exit the level. This is not the finale. I don't know what to expect. And because of that, I don't want to rush. I don't want to do any foolish. So yeah, next time, post game. It's a, it's a small pose game. Well, it's a pose game of a size that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> this is not internet pose game.